The following program is sponsored by Made, my art design experience, a walk-in art studio located in Mamaroneck. Tonight on The Local Live, voters approved Mamaroneck School's $49 million bond. A parent calls out a recent racist incident at the Mamaroneck School Board meeting. In the spotlight are highlights from the Made in Westchester series, featuring a Westchester Chordsman performance. And tonight, learn about the Sound Shore St. Patrick's Day Parade on the round table. Thursday, February 7th. I'm Stephanie Yang and welcome to The Local Live. First up, news from the Mamaroneck School District. 80% of those voting on Tuesday support the $49 million capital improvement bond, according to an unofficial tally. The bond includes funding for building safety district-wide, including installation of fire alarms and other security systems. All six schools will see repairs with over $10 million allocated to the high school. More information on the capital bond can be found at mamkschools.org. On Tuesday, the Mamaroneck School Board addressed fluctuating enrollment at Homics. One parent complained about racism and a lack of diversity and transparency in the district. Really. So the district talks a lot about diversity, yet I see no evidence uh, that students, students' true selves, have been factored into these plans, um, specifically students entering Homics over the next three years. This is concerning because four times over the last two years, I've sent the board and superintendent emails discussing the issues of diversity, equity, and inclusion, here in the Maronick, each time I felt ignored. Um, I mention this because inherently changes like this um, are uh, tremendously affected and impacted by issues of race, diversity, which I don't see accounted for in the plans uh, or any of the uh, issues that we've discussed this evening, particularly talking about how students learn, how students interact with each other, how students think about the relationships between each other, which in a lot of cases these students have not had um, exposure to. Um, in previous years before getting to homics. We've also heard a lot about social and emotional supports, and I find that interesting because uh, just before the holiday break in, Decem in December, my daughter was called a n by a white boy um, in an after-school club at the homics. Um, it took 30 days to finally meet with the principal, uh, my wife and I, and when we did meet with her, um, she literally asked us why we were meeting because she thought the issue had been resolved. Uh, it turns out that the only parents that she, the assistant principal and the counselor in charge of the club, um, had met with, the only parents that is, was the parents of the white boy. Talk about uh, social and emotional supports. No counseling was offered to my daughter. Uh, I'm going to finish, thank you. In general, there seems like a concerning lack of transparency and uh, lack of communication, which to me just feels uh, quite disingenuous. Thank you. For the past 10 years, New York State has not increased its aid and incentives for municipalities or AIM funds, which are unrestricted grants. Governor Andrew Cuomo's 2019 to 2020 budget cuts AIM funding. This will save the state $60 million, but impact more than 90% of municipalities, including the town of Mamaroneck and the village of Mamaroneck and Larchmont. Tuesday, the New York Conference of Mayors held a press conference in Portchester to talk about the AIM funding elimination. I'm here to call this what it is, and in, in clear terms, this is an attack by the state of New York on 40 communities in Westchester County and 1,300 communities across the state. AIM funding is the single program the state has to provide municipal property tax relief. As, as you know, one-third of your property tax bill is municipal property taxes and the state is supposed to be funding the AIM program as a way to help local leaders manage their budgets and keep property taxes low. Also, the towns and cities have to incur the cost of collecting taxes for schools and the county in Westchester County. No other county has that, but we have to incur the cost and the liability of collecting those taxes, and we're doing that without uh, being reimbursed or paid to do that. And we want to make it loud and clear 
together to the governor that we need this funding. And not only do we need the uh, funding that is the current levels, but we actually need increases going forward. The state has until March 31st to finalize the budget. If the aim cuts are not restored, Mamaroneck Town could lose $194,000. Mamaroneck Village and Larchmont Village would lose $149,000 and $72,000 respectively. At its last meeting, the Mamaroneck Village Board of Trustees approved the serving of alcohol at Harbor Island Park for four annual events, including the Sound Shore St. Patrick's Day Parade on March 17th and the Village Rec Department with LMCTV Tiki Invasion on July 26th. This month, the board will also implement new policies for the park's beach, allowing it to remain open year-round. However, there will still be no swimming from September to May, as there will be no lifeguards on duty. And on tonight's roundtable, Sabella Chipaziwa sits with Michael Murphy and Katie Murphy to discuss the upcoming 8th annual Sound Shore St. Patrick's Day Parade. Good evening and welcome to the Roundtable. I'm your host, Sibylla Chipaziwa. It may seem early, but it's time to get ready for St. Patrick's Day and the 8th Annual Sound Shore Parade. Tonight I'm joined by Michael Murphy, who is a member of the South Shore St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee. Thank you for joining me. And also I have Katie Murphy, no relation, <laughs> who's also on the committee uh, to discuss getting into the Irish spirit. So again, thank you so much for joining us on, you know, the local live round table. I guess where to start would be, oh, sorry. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact us. The information is on your screen right now. So I guess to start, um, how and why did the Sound Shore St. Patrick's Day Parade, you know, begin? Well, the parade started about eight years ago. And first of all, thank you for having us on the show. It's terrific. Thank yeah, you. Yes, Great thank opportunity you. to tell the people of Mamaroneck and Larchmont about mm -hmm. the parade. Uh, it's finding that more and more people want to get involved awesome. in the parade, you know, in the organizing the parade and also in marching on the day. So the parade started about eight years ago with a small group of people in, uh, I think it was in Molly Spillane's. They had a conversation. They said, mm -hmm. maybe it was nine years ago, they said, let's have a parade. So how are we going to, that's one thing to say it, but another thing to put it all together. And so there was a small group of people that started it. And over the years, more people joined the committee. And uh, so we're now in our eighth parade. This is the eighth annual parade. Mm. And Sibylla, this parade is special. You know why? Why? Because the parade falls on St. Patrick's Day. Right. Yes. How perfect. Normally, we have to be either the, I think it's a Sunday or the, it's a Sunday, Sunday after St. Patrick's Day in the city. Because the city gets, the Manhattan gets all the bands. Right. So we have to wait. And sometimes it could be like the day after, or it might be a week after before we can have our own parade. But this parade is right on St. Patrick's Day. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like a full moon and a blood moon and all that kind of oh, good stuff right. all happening once. It'd be a great time. <laughs> you uh, have been in the committee a year, Katie. I mean, what has it been like uh, over the past year? And I guess, why did you, you know, get involved? Um, well, I got involved because I my family has been involved with it. Again, not not this Murphy, but um, <laughs> other Murphys have, have started uh, getting involved from the very first year. And I've always volunteered at all the events. And when I heard that they needed help, uh, you know, I was happy to come on on the committee. Um, it's, a, it's a fun event, and um, a lot of work goes in behind the scenes. We meet pretty much weekly. Um, we take a break here and there, but with all the events that we plan going on year round, um, and uh, yeah, it's it's a fun community event. <laughs> yeah, it all starts out like months and months ago. We all get together like uh, I think in June, you know, of one. You know, in June we're planning a golf outing, and then from the golf mm -hmm. outing, it's the the Hearts and Shamrocks dinner, which we're coming up on, Actually, which is yeah. this weekend. It's on Saturday. And then finally right? the parade itself. So it's a lot of involvement, and you know, one thing I do want to say is I like mm -hmm. to give a shout out to the Village of Mamaroneck, both the trustees and the village employees, because without the, the, their support, without the, the Department of Public Works, the police department, the fire department, all, and the parks and recreation all being behind all this, we couldn't pull it off. Is there all. a particular reason why it's held in the village of Mamaroneck? There is, and I'll tell you why. Because okay. if you can't march down uh, the main street of Dublin or you can't be in, in Manhattan marching down Fifth Avenue, the best place to march in a parade, all right, Katie? is Mamaroneck Avenue. Avenue. 
Cool. Uh, so you just mentioned the Hearts and Shamrocks, and it's the fundraising and dinner gala. It's on Saturday, 7 to 11 p.m. at Davenport Beach Club in New Rochelle. What happens at this gala? Uh, I believe that something special happens, a kind of rite of passage, if you will. Do you want to tell us more about that? I'll leave that one to Mike. Oh, well, thank you, Katie. <laughs> uh, actually, it is the, the Hearts and Shamrocks dinner is an annual event. It's a fundraiser for the parade. And again, mm -hmm. I go back to, and I might say it a couple times during the broadcast, that the parade really doesn't happen by itself. It's not only volunteers, but it's also the donations and the sponsorships of both uh, private citizens in the area and also uh, businesses in the area. So we'll get to that maybe a little bit later, how that sure. people can get involved. But the main focus of that, that event is the annual passing of the sash from the previous year's Grand Marshal to the new Grand Marshal. And, and our Grand Marshal last year was uh, the former fire commissioner of New Rochelle, that was Raymond Doc Curden, who was terrific in his role as the Grand Marshal. And this year it's, it's going to be Chris O'Callaghan, a Rye resident, and we're looking forward to that event. That's awesome. Another, I guess, highlight about the this committee is your scholarships. I understand that over the past years you've managed to raise over $30,000 dollars to two recipients I believe right every year they get about twenty five hundred dollars towards I think it's for ages 16 to 22 years old uh, how did the scholarship uh, I guess come about and why <laughs> you know um, so when they first founded the parade they thought um, not only did they want to do something that was great for the community but also give back and so we sat a couple of people sat down and came up with some criteria and um, on you know eligibility so you have to live in the South Shore uh, community which includes Rye, Portchester, Harrison, Mamaroneck, Larchmont, Nourishell, and Pelham um, and I believe it's 18 to 22 years okay. um, and we give out up to two uh, $2,500 scholarships each year uh, depending on the applicants and if they're eligible um, all the requirements and the application they can download online um, at the South Shore Parade uh, dot com website yeah. Um, but and in the past, we've gotten some truly amazing candidates. I'm sure. Yeah. Really. So That's we're great. looking forward to this year's crop. So have there been any changes? Uh, is there anything different? I guess you could probably best suited to answer this question. Has there been like an increase in interest or, you know, I oh guess. Oh, my gosh. Sabella, thank you for asking. You yeah. know that the parade, actually, people think of it, or they thought of it when we first started it as a, Mamaroneck Parade, because mm. it marches down Mamaroneck Avenue. It marches from Mamaroneck Avenue School all the way down to the harbor, mm. where we have our hospitality tents. So they thought of it as a Mamaroneck Parade. But we say that the parade is a Sound Shore Parade, which represents the Sound Shore from Porchester all the way down to Pelham. That's a big community right yeah. there. So every year we try to, you know, to move that, to increase that, the amount of people that come in from the other areas. The other thing, too, is that the parade, when it started out there, we thought of it as this is a celebration of Irish heritage. But now we see it as a bigger picture that it actually is not only the Irish heritage, but it's also uh, it is a uh, celebration of the American immigrant experience, and that and certainly takes on everyone in in the community. So uh, we're delighted to have the community resource uh, march in it, and they've got a little band that they play and. You know, and we're always encouraging people, other groups to come in and march in the parade because, you know, you have the old saying, you've been around and you, for long enough and you hear somebody say, hey, on St. Patrick's Day, everybody's Irish, right? right? So if everybody's Irish, well, let them march in the parade. So come on and march if you're out there in TV land. All right. Uh, we will be right back after these messages and you'll find out more in the next segment about how you can participate. Please stay tuned. Do you need space for a meeting, conference, or presentation? LMC TV has what you need. Our 768 square foot studio space is ideal for many types of productions, readings, recitals, rehearsals, and workshops. The space has video recording capability, as well as daylight temperature lighting, green screen, and stage. Two additional rooms at 208 and 156 square feet can be used for any of your needs. Auditions, meetings, classes, workshops, one-on-one -on -one instructions, and more. Both rooms feature video monitors with Chromecasting capability, making presentations a breeze. 
To reserve one or more of our spaces, contact Dina Schumacher at 914-381-2002, extension 206, or email dschumacher at lmctv.org. Hello and welcome back to the round table. I am here with Michael Murphy and Katie Murphy from the Sound Shore St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee. Now we had just left off about, you know, how people can participate in this quite a few ways. Uh, would you like to talk about that? I guess we could start with sponsorships. Uh, people can have, they can, I guess, buy signs, right? Depending on the level of sponsorship. So yeah, if yes. you'd like to talk about that. Sure. Our sponsorship levels start at $100 uh, for a sign. They go up to, I think, $5,000. Um, and uh, A mere $5,000. Yes. yes. And there's, you know, different um, uh, material involved, promotional material involved for the day of the parade. Um, and basically, uh, yeah, we would love to have, you know, any support from our community because it doesn't, again, just go towards the... Uh, parade itself, but uh, the proceeds go towards the scholarship fund, and it's equally about the kids as it is about uh, the community event. So. Absolutely, and, and in the same line of the the sponsorship, I'd like to a little shout out here for the Orange sure. Bank and Trust because Orange Bank and Trust is the sponsor of the live broadcast oh. of the Sound Shore St. Patrick's Day Parade. Thank you. So we're <laughs> yeah. delighted to have them. Well, actually, we're delighted to have LMC TV shoot the parade live, yes. and, and, and it's great to have. Orange Bank and Trust, I know they're listening. You know, it's interesting, we have a number of people in the community that do get involved, uh, businesses such as Choculations, Good Shepherd. Um, there's uh, uh, Center for Green Building, new business down the street by Mamaroneck Avenue School. Mm -hmm. Have all, you know, they get involved in one way or another. And, and if uh, a business in Mamaroneck has a, along Mamaroneck Avenue has, uh, uh, well, if they have a business along Mamaroneck Avenue, I mean, there's gonna be hundreds of people thousands of people yeah. walking up and down the avenue so there for the parade so they might want to in some way or another you know show their support yeah get out there you know put something in the window yeah and you can so. of course get more information on the website right because right? you know this is all great for promoting uh you know life in mamarana yes right. there's also raffles i understand right so there's 400 Okay, so tickets we have sale? yeah, so we have raffle tickets. We're mm -hmm. going to be drawing off uh, what I like to call the pot of gold, but we have four hundred <laughs> chances uh, that we're selling um, at fifty dollars a piece, and basically uh, the cutoff is going to be Saturday, um, probably on the website around noon. Um, but you can purchase the tickets online this Saturday. I'm sorry. Yeah, this Saturday, okay. the ninth, um, and you can purchase the tickets online. Uh, we will send you a copy of your ticket and stub um, and submit your, uh, your chance to win. And we will be drawing that at the, uh, the gala Saturday evening uh, and the, the great passing of the sash ceremony. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so speaking about the gala, that's where I guess Christopher O'Callaghan, he's this year's uh, Grand Marshal, will be, I guess, you know, getting you know, the torch passed to him, so to speak, or, you know, the sash passed to him, so to speak. So I guess, why was he chosen? That would be uh, pretty funny year's... if it was a torch. We right? should think about that for next year. Give him a torch <laughs> and a sash. I like that. I don't, I don't know. I think he's getting a torch <laughs> and a top hat. But he was chosen. Well, we look for uh, a resident within the South Shore community mm. that is, has done for the community. Our first Grand Marshal was Jim Kaloran from Habitat mm. Humanity, no stranger to LMC TV. Yeah. And then uh, in the past, we've had, uh, in the recent past, we've had uh, Valerie O'Keefe, who was the town supervisor for many years, was the, the, parade, was the parade grand marshal a couple of years ago. And last year was Raymond Doc Kiernan, who really exemplified the first responders in our communities for all of his service as the, uh, in the fire department in New Rochelle, as the fire commissioner of New Rochelle. So we look for somebody that's actually been involved in the community and given back to the community. And uh, I think Chris O'Callaghan really re you know, exemplifies the, what, it, what the, the Grand Marshal is all about. Chris has been a longtime Rye resident with his brothers. He's one of five brothers. And we're hoping that all five brothers are going to be in the parade along with their mom and dad. It's going to be a great event. In fact, his uncle is going to be uh, saying the mass 
with uh, Monsignor White at, at St. Vito's. We'll get to that in a minute and we'll say how the how the parade, all, you know, the day of the parade, what happens yeah. there, because it starts with the mass. Okay. And uh, of course, and then uh, so and Chris has been involved with. He's been the chairman of the board, or he's the chairman of, uh, of the business council of Westchester. He's been on the board of, or the head of the board of uh, the American Red Cross. I got a couple things in here. What else? Uh, feeding Westchester, Greenwich Hospital, and he was also the president of the Friendly Sons of St. Patrick of Westchester. Wow. So, very involved individual and, and a great guy. So, and if you really want to meet him, there's two ways you can do it. You can come to the Hearts and Shamrocks dinner on Saturday, where he's going to be the guest of honor, mm -hmm. or come to the parade, to the right? Parade. So, the yeah. parade is Sunday, March 17th on St. Patrick's Day, the step off. I understand is at Mamanic Avenue School at 1.30 p.m. So please, yeah, tell us about what happens. I understand you had just mentioned there's a mass beforehand. So tell us about this big day. Well, the parade starts on, on, on at, the parade itself starts at 1.30 in front of Mamanic mm. Avenue School. But the day of the parade, we start with the 11 o'clock mass at St. Vito's. And the St. Vito's and Monsignor White have been gracious the, all the, every year to, to have that be the, the starting point. And we're delighted to have to be there with him. You know, the, I mean, it's the very inspiring music. Great, great parishioners there. Mm. And uh, every year, the Grand Marshal gets to choose who he wants to be part of the celebration of the Mass. And this year, it's Father O'Callaghan, which is the, his uncle, will be there. So we're, it's going to be terrific. And also, I believe he's going to be marching in the parade. Actually, I think he's going to be in one of Jack Saraceno's antique and vintage cars. Nice. You know, Jack is a, a board member of LMC TV, mm -hmm. right? So he'll, Jack will have a fleet of cars for the people that can't march but want to drive. Yes. So, so you can march or you can drive. <laughs> one last question I have. Do you have to be Irish in order to march? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, we invite anybody to come. Uh, uh, we've got a lot of scout troops, um, uh, civic organizations, uh, Local Live will be there marching with us. This year um, we have the School of Rock and the Homex Middle School Band. Mm. Terrific. Yep, and uh, I think joining us again from previous years is uh, the Emerald Society, uh, Iona uh, Pipes and Drum Band. Um, Every fire department up at the Sound Shore will be there, so yep, God yeah, bless yeah, them with their beyond. trucks. <laughs> yes. So motorcycle escorts, it's uh, terrific. So it's going to be fun. No, you don't have to be Irish, you know, but of course if you do one of those DNA tests, I'm sure we all got a little bit of Irish in us, right? Awesome. Somewhere yeah. or another. So anyways, but like we say, everyone's Irish on St. Patrick's Day, and again, it is the celebration of not only Irish heritage, but it, the American immigrant experience, of which we can't have enough of that right now, you know, to remind you of that, that we're all, mm. we have an immigrant background in this country. Yes. Are you right. going to march with us? Definitely. The local live and LMC TV will be there. I want to thank you again so much, Katie and Mike, for joining me. Thank you. Again. Oh, can we, one more shout out? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. To the committee. Yes, <laughs> to the committee and our officers, uh, Joe Morrow, uh, Gert Allen, and Jenny Maroney, uh, and the rest of the committee. We thank you guys very much for... Bernie, Katie, and, and, and uh, Kathy, and, and Chris Murphy. It's just to thank them all for all the work that they put into this. So Tom, thank you guys yeah. if you're watching. Past member, so. committee members as well. Uh, for all the hard work. Sure. Tanya, Patrick, Park, yep. uh, tell them all, right? So. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> yes. Thanks again. Um, if you'd like to participate in the parade on Sunday, March 17th on St. Patrick's Day, you can find out how by visiting the Sound Shore Parade website, which is www.soundshoreparade.com. You can get more information. Again, the parade kicks off at 1.30 p.m., marching down Mamaroneck Avenue right to Harbor Island Park. The local live and LMC TV will be there, of course, and I'm sure, as you know, the list is finalized. You will find out more about who else will be participating. Thank you again for joining me, and thank you for watching at home. Please stay tuned for more of the local live.
Center is the spot for your next party. Lights, camera, lift off. The possibilities are endless. Space adventures, video gaming, whatever they imagine LMC can achieve. Kids of all ages have fun making their own videos in our professional TV studio. LMC TV is the perfect spot for your creative kid to celebrate with friends and make a memory that will last forever in video. Party themes can range depending on their desire. Fun news shows, music videos, stop motion, overall silliness, our cameras can capture it all. Contact us to book a party today. The Emlyn Theater presented the Westchester Chordsman as part of the Made in Westchester series that showcases local talent. Here are the highlights. Welcome tonight to uh, the Emelin Theatre in Mamaroneck, New York. Tonight is one of our performances of the Made in Westchester series. Uh, tonight will be the Westchester Chordsmen, who are a beloved choral group. We're very excited to be here at the Emelin Theatre. We're performing this evening as part of the Made in Westchester because we are made in Westchester. We rehearse in White Plains, and we perform all over the county, but also all over the country and the world. For our third installment of Made in Westchester, we have four artists again. We have uh, John O'Sullivan, he's an aero photographer from Larchmont. We have Larry Gordon, who's also from Larchmont. He's a painter, abstract painter. We have Victor Santiago, who is um, a Maranek resident. He's an abstract painter and um, antique restorer. And we have Paolo Fioroni, who is um, the art teacher in New Rochelle High School, who paints um, different paintings of different musicians. Yes, we were fortunate to have the Westchester Corsman with us. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to be able to curate this series and bring in some really talented uh, musicians, but also some visual artists, thanks to Laura Bott and the Bot Shop. And uh, I've been uh, in Westchester for 14 years now and really uh, have been part of the music scene for a long time. I know there's tons of great musicians and great artists around and we're really happy that we can bring some of them to the Emblem stage. We're singing, hi neighbor, hi neighbor, what do you know and what do you say? Hi neighbor, hi neighbor, throw your worries away. Here's what's happening around town. Give some life at the Blood Drive at St. John's Lutheran Church in Mamaroneck on Saturday, February 9th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. According to the Red Cross, over 4,000 units of uncollected blood was lost last week in the New York area due to the extreme weather. Your donation can save up to three lives. To schedule an appointment to donate, you can visit redcrossblood.org for more information. Join the Westchester Alliance of Black School Educators and the New Rochelle Black History Month Committee for the seventh annual Black History Month celebration. The event will be honoring freedom through the arts and commemorating the life of Aretha Franklin on Saturday, February 9th from 4 to 8 p.m. at New Rochelle High School. For more information, visit wabseny.com. Get your mini golf clubs ready for the second annual Larchmont Open Mini Golf Tournament. This fundraiser is scheduled for Sunday, February 10th from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. inside the Larchmont Public Library. All ages are welcome. Information and tickets are available online at larchmontlibrary.org. On Tuesday, February 12th, attend a special storytime event for children with autism hosted at Anderson's Bookshop in Larchmont. The sensory-friendly storytime will emphasize on interactive stories and sensory play for ages 3 to 6 at 10 a.m. To sign up in advance, call the number on your screen now, as space is limited. If you've been feeling overwhelmed lately, you can join organizing expert Marla Alt of 123 Organize as she hosts an interactive workshop on Wednesday, February 13th at 6 p.m. This event will help you declutter any projects you may have in your life and home. For more information, you can visit mamaroneklibrary.org. Wow. 
I definitely would recommend doing podcasts if you are someone that likes to get something off the chest or you want to just talk about anything in the world that just might interest you. Podcast here at LMC TV is amazing. I hope, I hope you're uh, listening out there. Do you have a great idea for a YouTube video or a short film, but don't know how to make it happen? LMC TV has what you need. Our equipment cage is stocked with professional quality cameras, tripods, lighting, sound, cabling, and more. Our 768 square foot studio features a full lighting grid, wraparound green screen, teleprompter, TriCaster, and high definition cameras. To reserve equipment, contact Dina Schumacher at 914-381-2002, extension 206, or email dschumacher at lmctv.org. This week in sports, Mamaroneck's 16U girls hockey team clinched a shootout victory over Brewster on January 26th earning them the number one seed in the East region for the upcoming New York State Tournament next month. Here is Lindsley Barrios with the LMC Varsity Play of the Week. As regulation time ended with no score, the Mamaroneck Tigers were neck and neck with the visiting Lady Bulldogs, leading to another scoreless 15 minutes in overtime, forcing a shootout. One goal from Amerinix's Anna Chachrek propelled the Tigers' advantage over Brewster. The Tigers sealed their victory after a left leg pad save from goalie Hannah Gordon, who denied Brewster's final shootout attempt. CTV would like to thank local artist Jamie Lynn at Made, an art studio in Mamaroneck, for creating a beautiful community mural. Place your piece in this mural by contributing to LMC TV, the community connection that brings you local board meetings, varsity sports, and your local news. Please contribute to this community mural by going to our website and clicking on Donate. Each contributor will be listed next to the mural when it's complete. We value your appreciation of what we do. Become a single donor or as a group, go to lmctv.org. The only piece missing is you. Do you have a news tip? Seen anything interesting around town? Is there breaking news in your community? Send your videos, comments, pictures, and tips to the local live, your news source of Larchmont and Mamaroneck. Remember, if you miss Thursday's live broadcast, you can catch replays of the local live twice a day on this channel and find story clips on our YouTube channel. Be sure to also follow us on Facebook, where we stream live every Thursday night. Thank you for watching the local live. I'm Stephanie Yang, and we'll see you next week. Have a good night. The following program is sponsored by MADE, My Art Design Experience, a walk-in art studio located in Mamaroneck. If you are interested in sponsoring this or other programs on LMC TV, contact us for more information.